Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Hopefully you guys are excited to start using Apex. Go to apex.oracle.com and click get started for free. That's how you will uh, get started in case you couldn't figure that out. And then click, re <laughs> and then click request a free workspace. Now all you have to do is fill out the information here, answer a couple survey questions. There shouldn't be any credit card information required, so it should be pretty easy to get started. And you'll get a confirmation email pretty much instantly. So I'm gonna fill this out. I'm going to go with awesome workspace and this is going to allow us to use Apex in the cloud so we don't have to download anything. Now once you get to this page you're going to be sent an email where you will have to confirm your workspace and set your password. Here's where we're going to set our password, apply the changes, and there you go. This is the home page for Apex. Now there is a lot of buttons so let me just tell you what you need to know. Inside the app builder you're going to have the option to create a new application and that's what we're going to be focusing on first. And there's essentially three different ways to create an application. You can create one from scratch. We'll be getting into that later. You can create one from a file. So if you have a spreadsheet, for example, you can click this. And then lastly, you can go to this third option, which is to install a productivity app. So this is basically a collection of different apps you and your team can use for productivity. And there's also some sample apps you can use if you want to see how certain things are done, if you want to implement certain things like that inside of your own applications. So this is where I'm going to start just so you guys can easily see what is possible with Apex. So click the productivity app and we're going to see what we got here. So productivity and then sample. Again, productivity, these are things you can use for your actual productivity for your team, your development. And then sample is just where you can get some essentially what would be the equivalent of code samples for Apex. So as an example, if you need to know how to do a REST service, you could check that out. Or if you want to know how to do a calendar, here's a sample calendar you can build off of and so forth. We're going to start with a sample database application because I imagine that's what a lot of you guys are going to want to do. You have some database and you basically want to create a user interface to be on top of this database. So here's how you would do that. Click install app, click next, and install. Once that's done it'll say application installed and you can click this little play button to run it or you can click the manage button to see how it looks behind the scenes. Let's start by running the application and here you're going to use your Apex credentials to sign in. So this is just a sample application you could create if you were trying to create an application for customers, products, and all kinds of other stuff in here. And essentially you can create dashboards to give you an overview of the information, or what you can do is you can drill into any particular information you're interested in, such as customer information, and you can get that data here. There's all kinds of different capabilities by clicking this drop down actions, you can see that you can go through here and add filters, or you can decide what columns you're interested in. So if you want to get rid of a particular column, you can do that here. So for example, we can get rid of the address and just have the postal code. And there you go. Now you have the customer name, the postal code, and some tags. This application basically did the same thing for products, but in this case, it's actually displaying an image. So if you want to know how to do something similar, you can go and look at how this page was built. Now, if you go into orders, so here you can see that we have the customer information for any of these orders, and then you can get what items were actually purchased by clicking the order number over on the left. And here is a list, and this allows you to see how related data can be displayed in an organized way. So cool, in this case, this guy bought a shirt, jacket, and some trousers. All right, and the next thing I wanna show you guys here is the reports. Here you can get an example of reporting that you can do inside of Apex. You can pick any of these that spark your interest. I'm gonna go with sales by month, that sounds fun. And you can see we have a really good trend line in our sales. <laughs> Scrolling down, you can also see that we can have a bar version which shows the uh, different categories of things we're selling. So we have men's, women's, and accessories, and then it's split out by month. So that's one example of reporting you can do, but there's all kinds of different capabilities. We can go by sales by state. Here it's gonna break things out by state and show you which ones are doing best. These are just some of the different capabilities with Apex. And what we're going to be doing in this series is learning a little bit more of the capabilities and how to set some of this stuff up ourselves. Last thing I wanna call out is that there is this bar down at the bottom with different capabilities. This is basically how we can edit a particular page. You can click edit page, or what you can do is click this quick edit, which will allow you to select something on the page. Now in this situation, there's not a whole lot to click, but if we were on a page such as the home page with a little bit more options, 
Then when we click quick edit, there are a lot more options to click. So we go into this top products and that's going to take us to the back end and show us uh, a little bit more how that's made. And yeah, this is, um, this is a lot. So we're not gonna talk about all this in this video. All I wanted to show you guys in this video is how to set up a sample application just to get a little better view of what's possible with Apex and get a little bit more practice with working with the applications. In the upcoming videos, we're going to be breaking down what all this stuff means and a little bit more of the capabilities with Apex. So if you've enjoyed the content, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.